the greatest rock song of all time. The Beatles can't buy me love. I am the Warros by the Beatles. Geez, uh, Louie Louie. <laughs> Jailhouse Rook. Oh, man. Born to Run. And I'd have to say uh, Days and Confused by Led Zeppelin. She loves you. Hey, Jude. It's still only day two of rock and roll fantasy camp, and the campers just met their bandmates a few hours ago. They're all struggling to come together and work as a team, some more than others. Mind coming back in. <laughs> Ready? Or not. Ready? I th I think if we looked at our, our weaknesses as, as band members, our, we, we haven't played the, with each other. We, uh, we have different uh, understandings of the music that we're playing. Everybody is just thrilled to be around the other people that love music as much as we do. In, in, in yeah. rock and roll, at the power chords, I never play any like that. I play any like this. Okay, but it's also a question of how long do you want to play? That was one time through. Is that enough for you? That's all it is in the song. Who cares? You are going to be standing on stage with Roger Daltrey. If you, if we're going to be on stage with Roger Daltrey, how fast do you want it to be over? Here we are. We played all these tunes by ourselves, and now we're learning that uh, when you harmonize or when you sing, you don't chorus. You don't overdo it. When you, when you hit your chords, you're not trying to compensate. Now you have a drummer who's hitting the beat. So it's a lot for us to to get to be now and like performing on stage. And if that wasn't enough, Kamesh has bigger things on his mind than just harmonizing with the band. My girlfriend, hopefully soon to be fiance, Ami, and I, we've met a kind of a weird way. We met on something called IndianDating.com. I'm someone who never believed in the one. When you know, you know. And with her, I knew five minutes after. So what's the plan? As far as proposing, we can get where she's got brought on stage. Somehow, Roger Daltrey is part of it. If he's part of it, so it'd be great. The Burr's other guitar player, Jeff, is a little less focused on his better half. I was worried that if we were in the same band, I would be more worried about, you know, how she was doing, or she was enjoying it. It's only been a few hours, but Joan is hanging in. So I figured, worst comes to worst, I'll play a tambourine or a harmonica, but they've got me playing keyboards. Well, I can read music a little bit, and I, and I can pick out a chord if you tell me what the chord name is, but I can't play the two hands at the same time. They're teaching me as we go along. They're sort of developing little signs to tell me the chords. It's only the first day of rehearsals, and already there's trouble brewing. Camp rules state that no two bands can share the same song, but somebody forgot to tell that to the bands. Okay, straight ahead on that. Don't okay. do anything fancy. No problem. Nothing fancy. Okay. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. You want to give them a break? Oh, Yeah. Yeah. This could get ugly. We got a big problem here. What is it, Jack? Some other band has picked the classic rock song that we're gonna do. And so we were working on it, we were real revved up about it. We went across the street, bought the CD, and we were learning it real well. And halfway through that, David Fishall came in and said, Well, you, you can't do that one. Jack Blaze's band has already picked that one. And I said, wait a minute. I actually really wanted to sing that song because I think it's really good audience involvement. All of a sudden, um, they just, they came into the room and was like, we already have this song. And, you know, we are like, too bad. We called it first. How far do you want to take this? <laughs> if they don't cooperate, I think we play the song. Bring I think it we've on. Got, we got a much better, Bring much better on. team than they do. We'll have the playoff. Much better band. Have them learn this song, and we'll learn the song. Whoever plays it better by this afternoon gets the song. It 
looks like we have our first rock rivalry. It's not quite Britney and Christina or Tupac and Biggie, but it looks like there's going to be a showdown between Cheap Fantasy and Jack Blaze. Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I, you're okay. What was the first album you ever purchased? First album was Chuck, uh, Chuck Berry album. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was called. Meet the Beatles. The Beatles, uh, Meet the Beatles. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Beatles. Are You Experienced by Jimi Hendrix? Leonard Skinner pronounced and Led Zeppelin II at the same garage sale. Meet the Beatles. Fantasy Camp has its first controversy. Two bands want the same song, Cheap Tricks, I Want You to Want Me, but only one will get to play it at the House of Blues in the Battle of the Bands. You know, that kind of brought everybody together and, and, and brought that collective band spirit in a little bit more because we had to unite in the face of uh, adversity. After much soul searching, Jerry and his band Cheap Fantasy head down the hall to offer Jack an unusual offer. We're willing to give you the Cheap Trick song for one thing. When you get your order, when the order comes out, give us the option to take your spot in the order. Give us five minutes to think about okay. it. Okay. Give us five minutes and we'll give you your answer. You got it. Did you see what happened? They played us. They can't play the song? They can't play we the call song. their bluff lesson number one in rock and roll. Never, ever back down. I don't care if you don't think you can even sing the song, you tell them that you can sing it better than anybody on the planet. <laughs> Did you see what happened? We scared the crap out of them. I said, all right, guys, look it. We've had enough of this. We are going to write our own song. Screw, you know, doing everybody else's song. They stole our songs. Now we're going to tell them why we ain't doing their darn song. Because we got ours, and it's better. Nothing. Hell had no fury like a band scorn. We know that nobody else has that song, and they can't take that away from us. And everybody just, like, exploded. Uh, it, was a, it was a magical moment. I think at that point in time, right then when we made that decision, was when it officially became a band, a family. You guys are, are the only ones writing a, a song for this, I think. Is that right? Good. I, I haven't. That would give you a house advantage. Well, now, you're you're Ariel, right? Yes. And you're the lead singer of this uh, kit and caboodle? Yes. Yep. Does that mean it's all up to you to write the lyrics, or you guys going to do that collaboratively? We're going to do a little bit. It's going to be mostly what her comfort level is as far as her range and phrasing, and, you know, ultimately, uh, that the singer gets the final input on that, but we're going to do it all as a collaborative uh, thing, and we're going to become songwriters, that's, as well as rock and rollers. That's ended a few bands, you know. Oh, and that's a... <laughs> I think we're the only band that has gone the route of actually tackling their own original composition. So from that, from that end alone, you know, I think we've already won. Only time will tell if Cheap Fantasy chose the right strategy. Wow, it seems like Diane and Rodeo Underground get better every time I check in. Oh, what were you singing? That's it. Hey, you guys are even talking like a band. That's like, I, <laughs> seriously, I mean, there's like communication, no infighting yet? No egos, no storms off stage? This is my box. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously, you guys might, might, I'm looking over my shoulder, you might be the most uh, advanced in terms of musicians put together in it. So you, you guys got, you got a dream team, definitely. If I were a betting man, I'd feel pretty good putting money down on Rodeo Underground to take it all at the House of Blues. Um, if, you go, if your fantasy yeah. is to play a go-go song, I want you out of my <laughs> room. Things aren't progressing as smoothly in Studio 5. Elliot's band, Masters of Johnson, are struggling to come together under Elliot's exacting standards. Swear at me all you want, do whatever you want, don't even say thank you at the end of it. I don't care. I'm having fun. You haven't heard these guys. Okay.